What's happening, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? It's the one on the real, right? AKA Chosen Not Taken. Choose your life. Don't just take what it gives you. And if you could do your boy a favor, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we almost at that 2,000 mark, but we still working. Get the 2,000 to 10,000 on our way to 1 million, but I'm not even going to fake with you. Check this out. We're going to get straight to the topic of today. Shannon Sharp, salute to you, brother. The reason why I got to give salute to you, because I tell you what, especially being a brother from the South, the blatant disrespect that Skill Bayless is giving you is unbelievable. But I respect what you're doing, Shannon. I'm going to tell you why I respect what you got going on. Because you yourself, sir, are really showing people how to conduct yourself in a professional manner to where they tend to stereotype the black man as this uh, overactive, uh, very aggressive, that's not how to control his anger. But you, you, you contradict all that because you handle yourself with so much professionalism. Now, you did have that one breakdown. Now, I'm not even going to fake with you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you that one breakdown before I show you the even more of the disrespect. You make it seem like I'm the bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better he's than you. Better. Yeah, what? I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, when you put I, don't, this I don't take personal yeah. shots. Oh, you time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 just Go ahead. you disrespect him. It, it's just so. It, so it's you, just you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no. support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game, and it's by have far. It. Have it. Okay? Take off, I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you. Now, that breakdown, now, it wasn't too bad, but it showed that you were showing a, a point of uh, disappointment. Because coming from somebody that had no kind of athletic career whatsoever, having the audacity to demean and downplay your Hall of Fame football career was very, very, very uh, disrespectful. But you know what, though? But today, it was the day. You mean to tell me, after all of the backlash and all of the scrutiny that has came to Skip Bayless, he still says that he did, he always and will stand by his tweet. And also, he said he will not take it down. Matter of fact, you ain't got to believe me. You know I got the footage. Let's roll it. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation of why I wasn't on air yesterday, and I won't get into speculation or conjecture or innuendo, but I will say this. In watching that game on Monday night, uh, what happened to DeMar Hamlin struck me a little different. Um, as a brotherhood in the NFL, when injuries happen, when we know injuries are a part of the game, I've seen guys suffer ACLs and Achilles tear, but I've never seen anybody have to be revived and fight for their life on the field. So it struck me a little differently because I remember seeing my brother paralyzed on the field temporarily, and he was able to regain focus. Um, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by what I tweeted. At this point, he's really just showing you that, hey, look here. I'm the man of this show. I say what I want to and can't nobody stop me. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me... All right, okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back. Skip, well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I'm, I didn't I'm, know I'm, you were going to bring no, up No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where Look at the deep breathing. No respect at all. Demar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was gonna do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because. AKA, you better stay in the in your place. That's what he's trying to tell you, Shannon. Nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the boss is. Wanted you to offer explanation, so clearly somebody. No, they did not have. The, nobody. Let's go, Jen. <laughs> need I say more? It need I say more? At this point, it's safe to say that Shannon Sharp is in a hostile working environment. Uh, you can see it on his face. You can see it in his demeanor. That it's no longer fun. Uh, the disrespect that Skip Bayless is displaying is totally, for number one, unprofessional. But I tell you this, it's the true character of who he is. He, he's just showing you who he really is. He's at a place to where he feels untouchable and he feels like he can say and do whatever he wants to. And hey, 
can you blame him? Because nobody has reprimanded him for him. And, and like he said in the video, he said uh, the higher ups uh, didn't have a problem with it. But yet and still, you got on the show and talked about how you apologize and fake like you're crying. And not, let me tell you something. Skip Bayless is a direct, uh, a direct reflection of how bad relationships are. You know how somebody, they're sorry because they got caught, but they're not sorry for what they did, what they've done. That's exactly what Skip Bayless is displaying right here. When Shannon Schultz was not there and he thought things wasn't going right and the show was going down the piper, that one day he had to do the show all by himself, that show was horrible. I'm just going to say the truth. It was absolutely horrible. But now that Shannon Sharp is back, which I really believe he only came back due to contract stipulations, just to be honest with you. I really believe the only reason why Shannon Sharp, uh, Shannon Sharp is showing up because his, his legal ties in the contract. I really do believe that. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know that for show. But the reality of it is, is that Skip Bayless letting you know that, hey, I can do whatever I want to. I say what I, whatever I want to. And that's just it. And the reality of it is, is that he can because nobody is reprimanded in form. A psychologist said rewarded behavior is repeated behavior. So if I do something and nothing happens, I'm going to keep doing it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, hey, man, salute to Shannon Sharp. Hate that you work in that hostile environment. And I pray that, that you find some kind of way to uh, get away from the situation because it's obvious that Skip needs you. You really don't need Skip, just being 100 with you. But, hey, look, that's just my drop on the day. I'm your boy, Real Roy, a.k.a. Chosen I Take and Choose Your Life. Don't just take what it gives you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Let everybody see what's going on so I can drop these gems on you all, of, all the time. And I got three things before I go. God loves you. I love you. And if we keep loving each other, the world's going to be a better place. One love. Take a load off on my private island.